everyone, so this week we are going to talk a little bit about my upcoming business presentation and the first thing we're going to kind of address about it is my audience awareness. So jumping right into this, uh, we're going to kind of talk about, you know, how my business model presentation will capture the audience, you know, the things that are going to kind of, you know, convey it to um, the audience that's going to really bring them in, really going to reel them in. So first uh, component of that is really going to be to make it compelling. My presentation, you know, really needs to, I really need to draw people in. I need to make it exciting, make it something that people want to take interest into. Um, going deeper into that, you know, I want to tell a story, you know, like we read, uh, read in this week's reading, um, a lot of telling a story is just really just sugarcoating that pill. Um, and I really want to do that. You know, I really want to convey my passion uh, through a message of a story. I think it's really going to draw people in more, make it more personable. Um, also moving down here, we're going to go, don't talk at talk to, you know, I don't, I want to make sure that the, the audience that I'm talking to, um, is definitely the main part of the presentation. I know being a presenter that it's not about me, you know, I, to be a presenter, I could be a presenter, but I need an audience to present to so the audience is definitely the main thing I want to treat this kind of like a Q&A uh, I want to make sure that the audience knows that they're talking to and that they they are participants in this just as much as I am and then finally going down with that too is just knowing my audience and empathizing you know what would I want to see if I was sitting on the other end of the spectrum of my business um, model so knowing my audience and really going down to their level and just being that person that they want to see is really important, a really key thing. So the main component of that really of my business model presentation that is really going to draw people in, I believe is going to be my passion. I mean, I love the cycling industry. I've been riding a bike my whole life. I've been doing this my whole life and I'm really passionate about it. And I want people to see that passion. You know, even if they choose not to invest, I want people to know that I'm a passionate person and that I'm going to get there no matter what it takes or what I have to do to get there. All right. So um, some of the audiences I plan to present to and the differences of how I'm going to present to them are, are listed right here. So first we're going to start with friends and family. Um, they're going to get the pretty much the same presentation as the private investors. Um, I'm very fortunate as to my grandpa being um, a VC. Um, and I'm not going to be asking him for any personal involvement in what I'm doing. But it is a definitely good to sit and present to him because he will give me the feedback, the professional feedback that I need to hear. So moving down the list, private investors. This is, of course, going to be uh, the people that I'm going to present to at the school and then also private investors in the community. So they're going to get the full presentation that is both personal yet includes the hard numbers. It's going to be the full spectrum. They're going to really get it all. Um, the challenge with this is going to going to really to trim the fat, so that's going to be have to have to be something I'm going to work for uh, this month. And then lastly, I do want to put out a crowdfunding campaign. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more personal than the private investors presentation. That being said, it's not going to really include as much of the hard numbers and hard facts and and things like and hard timelines and things like that. It's going to be more personable it's going to be reaching out to build the shop more or less to build the community around the shop you know the goal and the message i want to put across the crowdfunding is that i'm in this to make a better cycling community for the san Inez valley i'm not in this to make a bunch of money um which you know is definitely the source why behind the business but when you go to the private investors you know they're in it to make money so we definitely have to push that money a little bit harder on the private investors and like I said, make the crowdfunding uh, presentation a little bit more personable. All right, so that's all I have for this presentation for this week. Uh, here are my references here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.